Hello. For this project we need a whole effect sensor like this. We can see that the sensor has four pins. Two of the pins are used for voltage input, 6 to 12 volts DC. The other two pins are voltage output that depend on the magnetic field. If we put the north pole of a magnet close to the sensor, one of the outputs will generate a voltage. If we reverse the magnet and face the south pole close to the sensor, the other output will generate a voltage. We can buy the sensor or we can obtain one from an old computer fan like this. The motor of the fan has a whole sensor internally. There is the sensor. It is a 4-pin sensor like the one we need for this project. Some motors have a 3-pin hole sensor like this. This is not adequate for our project. We need the 4-pin type. This is the diagram of connections. The first thing we have to do is to identify the two pins that correspond to positive and negative voltage input. The remaining two pins are for connections to the LADs. Now that our circuit is complete, we see that one LAD or the other lights up depending on what phase of the magnet we put in front of the sensor. However, we don't know which LAD corresponds to north or south of the magnetic field. We will see in a moment how can we do that. Take a metal bar and wind a coil as shown in the figure. If we connect the positive of a battery to the left and the negative to the right, we will get an electromagnet with a south pole to the left and a north pole to the right. Take a thick nail or a drill bit like this and approximately one meter of magnet wire and place the wire in this position and make turns like this until you finish the piece of wire. Once our electromagnet is finished, we can connect the positive of the battery to the starting point and the negative side of the battery to the finishing point and we will get a north pole on the right side. We observe that the red LED turns on, therefore red will indicate a north pole and green will indicate a south pole. Now you can label the lights and your detector is finished.